Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, it's been a morning for me, is how I would describe it. Uh, my phone just got a new Pixel 9. Transferred it last night. My 6 is now bricked. Um, <laughs> so, oh, Google, I want to love your hardware. I really do, but you are making it so difficult today. Uh... Anyway, I'm late on this, as you can see. We're <laughs> we're a good ten minutes behind the direct. Uh, well, the first three hours of my morning have been cell phone tech nightmares. Uh, so let's let's jump in. Let's watch. Let's see what I got. I don't have high expectations uh, for this. You know, it's the end of the year. I feel like we pretty much know everything that is coming. To Nintendo in 2024, we know that the Switch successor is happening in Q2 of 25. They have told us that will not be part of anything that they're showing today. So it was just kind of like, eh, yeah. Yeah, okay. The, a little refresher on what's coming and like maybe some surprises, but nothing like gigantuan, you know what I mean? Uh, so let's take a look. Oh, is this the indie? Are we in the indie part first? We are. Okay. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Indie World. Hello. I'm Amber. And I'm Andrew. We're back with more indie games headed to the Nintendo Switch system. That's exciting. All right, it's time to lay our cards on the table. Sure thing. Wait, why is there a Joker in my hand? Here's the deal. Is that a Bellatro reference? Oh, they got a Witcher collab. That's new. How about that? Oh, they have multiple collabs. Okay. Vampire Survivors is great, by the way. Love that. I have to imagine doing a collab with this particular type of game is pretty easy, though. <laughs> Bro, Dave the Diver. Dang. That's crazy. Okay. This is okay, this is a meme. I'm convinced none of this is real now. Really? Even the animations. Huh. Oh, it's a free update. Oh, damn. Okay, that's huge. Love that. <gasps> Are we going to learn more? Neva. Uh, Neva. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. I saw this and I got feelings. I saw the trailer. I caught feelings, man. El equipo ha estado trabajando duro para mostrar una conmovedora perspectiva sobre cómo quienes nos protegen eventualmente necesitarán nuestro cariño y cuidados también. Estamos encantados de poder compartir las últimas novedades del juego y esperamos que os unáis a Alba y Neva en su aventura en Nintendo Switch. Wait, is it called Neva? Or is that a character's name? I don't remember now. I just remember it was from the same people that made Grease. And it looked stunning. And it involves, like, some kind of, like, wolf, elk, animal thing. And it's, uh... Yeah. It makes you feel things. I think Neva's the wolf animal hybrid thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. October! Creep and crawl your way up the corporate ladder of a bizarre insect megacorp that's buzzing with mysteries. 
In this surreal RPG, you'll take on the role of Moth Cuban, an ordinary employee who's recently received a promotion. But this is no time to celebrate the threat of a mysterious event. Did I just have a DDR mode? The final process is looming. Can Moth and his fellow bugs save the company? Or even reality itself? As you investigate the cramped cubicles and creepy corridors of the corporation, this is kind of giving Undertale vibes. From all walks of life, each with a story that's interwoven with moth. Not everyone would be friendly, though. Take on enemies in verbal showdowns with multiple dialogue choices, and be sure to bring your fighting words. Your choices influence how the story progresses. There are multiple secrets, quests, and endings to unravel. So experiment and see what happens. Not full on Undertale, but it, it just looks like there's a lot going on. The combat kind of reminded me of Undertale hey guys, a little bit. We're AJ and Dio from Tokyo Productions in Indonesia. We're part of Coffee Talk team, and with our much missed friend and the original creator, Fahmi, Talk. we created Coffee Talk and Coffee Talk episode two. Hey everyone. Coffee I'm Talks feels Jane familiar. I was the co-writer of Coffee Talk Hibiscus and Butterfly alongside Junkie at Toge. Hi, I'm Kintaka Ogawa, a writer and uh, English to Japanese games translator. I had the privilege to work on the Japanese translations of both Coffee Talk games. Today, we are thrilled to announce that we are partnering with Coders to expand the Coffee Talk world. We've been hard at work over the last year to come up with a story that retains the cozy elements so of they are all over the place of, but at the same time bring something new okay. to the table and now we're very proud to announce an exciting new game for coffee talk fans coffee, coffee talk, talk tokyo, tokyo. Oh. coffee talk but in tokyo Yep. It's coffee talk, but in Tokyo. <laughs> uh, that is an interesting choice for the franchise of coffee talk. They can kind of just hit up any <laughs> like cultural landmark or major city and just put a flair on it. It feels soothing. The music definitely feels soothing. It's a vibe space game. Coming next year. Okay. I feel like that was a teaser or Let's like a little Easter egg for downloadable content that previous Coffee new Talk players. And unexpected places. But I don't know what that is. Discover a miniature clockwork world in the Sea of Stars Throws of the Watchmaker DLC. Gear up for a journey full of oddities and wonders Yo. in which Valir and Zale will have to play by new rules to put a stop to a cursed carnival. Zale will transform into a skillful juggler while Valir will dazzle as an acrobat. Together with new players, I still have to play Arnie, this. They'll explore new areas and battle through dangerous dungeons in their quest. I waited to get the world of Sea of Stars of for the, the limited physical release, which I have now. Launches on Nintendo it showed up spring. late this spring. That's a. I, no, it's not hey, pre watched this way. Get out of my swamp! Sorry, Amber. But just like onions, Yo! Layers of dirt that Wait. Blasted away. Ugh, Shrek collab? Ogre it anyway. A muddy good time awaits in the Shrek special pack paid DLC for Power Wash Simulator. Feel okay. like an all-star as you I recently played this uh with Jenna. Retail maps from the Shrek universe, including Shrek's very own swamp. And, and I didn't hate it. Lair. Don a shiny suit of armor with a new night themed character model and get your power washing game on when the Shrek <laughs> That's tight. Special Pack DLC makes a splash on I the like Nintendo that. Switch system this fall. Hi, I'm Sam. Hello. Our team has been working on a new game called Morsels. 
He plays a mouse fighting against the forces of wicked cats, using magical cards to transform into a bunch of weird little monsters. It's a challenging roguelike set in a grungy, whimsical world. When I first pitched Morsels four years ago, it was a simple top-down shooter, which is a genre I love. Since then, with the help of Sam and our programmer Higgy, we've been able to turn it into something much cooler than I envisioned. I hope when people play Morsels, they enjoy the frenetic action, but are also charmed by the game's personality. Please enjoy the first ever trailer for our strange little game. Thank you. Cat Bros. With a card fighter. Interesting. This is definitely a trip. <laughs> I don't, uh... That's probably not one I will try out, to be honest with you, uh, but it, I mean, I can tell just from the trailer that there was a lot of time and attention put into stuff, Home is where the heart is. and I appreciate and that in a, in a dev studio, game. or just right. developers Household in general. Objects, appliances, and even concepts turn into eligible love interests in Date Everything, a game in which you can, in fact, date pretty much everything. With 100 dateable characters, there are plenty of okay. unconventional partners. Okay. This game, from. I actually yeah, heard of a. Love with Cabrizio the cabinet. Become best because the, shelf, the voice talent that they got. Doug, your uh, overwhelming sense of existential dread. Um, I think I'll pass on Doug. Can I fall in love with a lamp? No way. Lux the lamp is all mine. But did you know that you could even date the game itself? Why don't I introduce you to Textbox Chan? Engage in flirtatious, branching dialogue with these fully voiced characters I... as you get to know them and okay. form meaningful I don't know how that Harry logistically works. I drive as quick as my whip. Bring your best day anyway, the... <laughs> your could result uh, the voice talent that they got for this game is kind of nuts. Or even disdain. I'm talking like if you've played some Fire Emblem games or uh, any of the Hoyoverse games, like you're probably gonna recognize some voices in it. Which is crazy. The game designer of Peglin and the founder of You wouldn't think looking at a game like that. The first version of at a game jam in The theme of the jam was fall, and we wanted to create something fun and physics-y. We ended up creating the first version of Peglin's battle system. Mm -hmm. When the pandemic started, working on Peglin became a fun and creative escape. I do remember we Peglin. Places and enemies for our little goblin friends to explore. We then added two of our friends to help speed up development, and now four years later, we're a team of seven, and we're excited to bring Peglin to Nintendo Switch. Yo, that's huge! The dragons have been stealing your gold for as long as you can. I always remember. thought this game, it's like, it's been on Steam, right? Land, but I've always thought this game was. With the power of pets. like built for a handheld inspired RPG you aim orbs and hit pain. like it kind of has that Tetris feel where it's just like you're on a gamepad and you're moving stuff it's got that vibe to it it's obviously not like Tetris but uh, it has that handheld kind of native feel I think others will pierce both pegs and enemies and some will even heal you for every peg you hit the pegs themselves have some peculiar properties, too. They can explode, help you unlock the critical power of your orbs, and more. With careful cool. planning and aiming, you can create some spectacular combos. 
Relics will radically change your game too. Equip these rare passive power-ups to prevent lethal damage or turn pegs into bombs. Just to name a few. Each run presents new opportunities for possible combinations. Teach those dragons a lesson. I love this. When I'm getting this. Bounces onto Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive later today. Timed console exclusive? I'm in. What is this? Hello, Nin hello. Wait, there's a cow. Why do I feel like I should know what this game is? I feel like I've seen it before, but I have no clue what it is. Wobbly life. All right. Okay, follow <gasps> my lead and watch out for the caterpillar. Pico Park. We're doing great so far. Yo. Careful. There's a Andrew. Oops. Let's try this again. Scoot. Scoot. Jump. Good thing we're tied together. Look, a key. Let's grab it. Hey, don't jump on my head. Let I'm me... going in. Oh. All right, let's slow it down. And jump. Got it. Yay. Solid. We make a great team. Now let's try it with eight players. Oh boy. As you can see, I want is key in this puzzle platformer. Up to eight oh, it's Pico Park too. To together to navigate levels full of ledges. I thought I thought they were just putting obstacles. the first one on here. Use strategic stacking, coordinated movement, and puzzle solving skills to find. My goal is to get my level. fellow YouTube colleagues to play this. Levels, and each one can be completed no matter how many players you have on your side. Think it'll be a walk in the park? Think again. Even greater challenges await in dark mode, where your skills and your friendships will be put to the ultimate test. Get ready for Ooh. multiplayer mischief when Pico Park 2 jumps on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive. Later what are today, these timed console exclusives? What is, what is this about? Can't get enough indies? Here are some more titles headed to the Nintendo Switch system in the What's near future. What's going on here? Oh, that's a vibe. This track is definitely gonna get me copy claims. A hundred percent. Okay, I remember Europa. Cruise in here, I don't remember. On your tail, I also don't remember. Metal Slug Tactics, I remember that. Yeah, okay. It's so hard. Ooh, Plucky Squire. Yep, that's coming in September. I'm pretty jazzed about that one. I was just vibing with the music. Where'd you get that pizza? I found it in that tower over there. What tower? Wait, what? They actually did it. The Mad Lads actually did it. Oh my god. Yo, that's crazy. 
the number of times I've seen this on people's direct bingo cards is wild. They're giving a lot of screen time to this. They know people have been wanting Pizza Tower. A lot of immediate uh, That's all for today's stuff. Indie world. We hope you enjoyed today's showcase. As always, a big thank you to our indie community and partners making games for Nintendo Switch. Follow our official Pizza indie Tower, Pico to Park, to date on all things uh, on the Nintendo Switch Peggle. system. Stick around for more exciting news and updates in today's Nintendo Overall, Direct pretty solid indie showcase. direct. Starting right now. Until next time. Happy, happy gaming. gaming. See ya. Or sorry, it's an indie world. I still think everything Nintendo does is a direct though. Hello everyone. Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching in the second half of 2024 from our publishing and development partners. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's get into the headlines. They said second half, and I was like, wait. These games are falling <laughs> Hold on. Into place. What? Are we about to leak some Switch 2 uh, exclusives? Celebrate the 40th anniversary <sighs> of Tetris with a compilation of historic games. Tetris Forever. Experience the 1988 Famicom version of Tetris. Chain combos using explosions in Tetris 2 plus Bobless. Use special moves. I've always thought Tetris, Tetris needed Tetris more bombs. You know? And more in this interactive oh. museum, including the games shown here. In addition, enjoy the brand new Tetris Time Warp, where you'll jump between gameplay styles from across the series. Oh, that's cool. You can also watch new documentary clips about the history of Tetris and its key players. Tetris Forever oh, drops onto that's the Nintendo cool. Switch system this year. I wish something like that got a physical release. Plus, the NES version of Tetris is coming to Nintendo Switch Online this winter. Also kind of huge. And be on the lookout for a Tetris 99 Maximus Cup event, also coming this winter. Another game where they can pretty much do a collab with anything. Unknown. Love that for them. Journey to the galaxy's depths in this high-speed sci-fi adventure. After receiving a mysterious distress signal, you'll venture through a massive alien world to reunite with your beloved. Ride the stylish hoverboard to explore stunning landscapes filled with all sorts of alien structures. From I don't know what this is about. To wavy waters, each area will challenge your traversal skills. Along the way, you'll face enemies in frenetic melee. What it? By unlocking okay, never mind. And combining different abilities, <laughs> I was gonna say it looks. It looked like Tony Hawk and Xenoblade had a crossover. Match your riding style solve puzzles and gather resources to boost its speed steering gravity and more whether you're racing through terrain at high speeds or in the throes of combat the hoverboard will be there to help you leave no stone unturned as you explore every corner of this vast planet you never know what or who stylistically it looks really Star cool overdrive launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch what is this next timed year. Exclusive stuff? I feel like everything's going to be a timed exclusive. Floats your oh. goat. goat simulator? Welcome to the vast island of San Angora, where you'll take on the role of a goat. We're not yes, sir! In this sprawling sandbox adventure, you'll headbutt, lick, and explode your way across the island. That's tight. Wreak havoc on anything and everything you find. Want to drive around town? 
join a yoga class, antagonize the locals. You can do all of that and more. Complete quests and gain karma to progress the story and unlock customization options. From fashionable nonsense like floral shirts and inflatable tubes. This has to be one of the most absurd games ever created. Angry, and even tasty goats. So buckle up. The concept alone. Style by the horns. And you're not the only belligerent <laughs> Billy around here. Unleash the flailing animation will never not get me. Player online or couch co-op. Hope you're ready to hoof it because the digital version of Goat Simulator 3 rams its way onto Nintendo eShop. Digital version, today. which means the there's physical a physical version one. of the game launches on Nintendo Switch this November. Here's a rapid fire mix of first reveals and game updates oh. coming to Nintendo Switch. Okay. Me. Make Bikini Bottom your playground. That was it? I was expecting much more from that. <laughs> I was expecting a lot more. No. This is Patrick. The silly sea star from SpongeBob SquarePants stars okay. in this physics. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Bikini Bottom is your oyster. Make some hilarious mayhem by performing whimsical skydives. Digging up treasure in the Wait, do you just play as Patrick? Or even blowing off steam in Mrs. Puff's rage room. Experiment with items you find. From exploding pies to paint tubes. That's the... the there are no... Patrick, oh. Uh, and he's not the only familiar face here. Take on comical challenges from Spongebob, oh. Sandy, Squidward, and more. Buckle up. You turned out the lights. Step into Patrick's shorts and the inner machinations of his mind. The Patrick Star Square Game. Pants, the Patrick Star Game launches on Nintendo Switch October 4th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Alright. Ready for your very own Hello. trainer? Wait, is this the evolution of okay, Wii? We fit. Started. The latest entry in the fitness boxing series oh, is punching okay. its way onto Never Nintendo mind. Switch. Newly added features make it easier to train more regularly. Use Quick Workout to jump into an exercise program right after launching the game. Once you're done, try going the distance. I feel like this would not do anything for actual fitness boxing. With mitt drills, you'll practice with your instructor at your own pace. Looking good. And in sit fit boxing, you can complete exercise programs while seated for a different training experience. 30 brand new songs are included. Ah. There are also six instructors, including two new ones. Ah. I didn't Plus, know that there were popular songs involved. Style. Now it makes more sense. You as you work toward your goals. Nice. Fitness Boxing 3, your personal trainer, launches on the Nintendo Yeah, Switch this is like Just Dance, but with a fitness a boxing twist, remember. I think. Eight Capcom fighting games are brawling their way onto Nintendo Switch in one collection. Here's the complete roster of games. Capcom vs. SNK Millennium Fight 2000 Pro. Capcom vs. SNK 2 Mark of the Millennium 2001. Project Justice. That's quite a title. Capcom Fighting Evolution. Street Fighter Alpha 3 Upper. Plasma Sword Nightmare of Bilstein. Power Stone. And Power Stone 2. Is that a 3D world Each brawler? Game has its own training mode and is playable online. You can also visit the museum to enjoy artwork and music from each game. Capcom Fighting Collection 2 launches on Nintendo Switch next I'm year. I'm never really a Capcom Plus, guy. Jump into the fray when Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics Hyper Combos its way onto Nintendo Switch September 12th. Digital pre-orders begin. We did have that on in a pizza Shop. place when I was growing the physical up. Version of the game there was like a, an arcade Switch, box with November that. 22nd. 
Next, please take a look at this. Take a look at it. Okay. Oh, 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 this feels familiar, but I don't, I can't put my finger on it. Not the actual title, but like the vibes of it. Am I getting Xenoblade from it? I'm getting Xenoblade. Atelier. I almost, I was gonna say, it feels like kind of Atelier. I've never played any Atelier. Entry in the Atelier series, featuring a brand new protagonist. All right, let's see some more headlines. Interesting. That one did not seem, uh... I have Rise of 1 through 3. Remasters of the first two because I got them on a sweet deal. But then I realized how long it would take. And they just got bumped to the very back of the backlog. But that seemed much more action based. This collection adds new support features like the ability to speed up combat and automate battles with a single button. Sweet 1 and 2 HD Remaster. Kate Rune and Dunan Unification Wars launches on Nintendo Switch March 6, 2025. Okay, good the features. The HD 2D remake of Dragon Quest 3 draws near. Yep. After gathering your companions and selecting their vocations, you can now customize their appearance, voice, and more. With the new Monster Wrangler vocation, you can use monster-like abilities to fight enemies and heal allies. There may also be places where you can put monsters to use, but that's for another time. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake ventures on that was Nintendo ominous. Switch, November 14th. Pre-orders begin me by that. today on Nintendo eShop. Three Castlevania games originally released on the Nintendo DS system. Okay. Dawn of Sorrow, Portrait of Ruin, and Order of Ecclesia rise again in a single collection. Arcade classic Haunted Castle is also included, featuring the original and a reimagined version. Plus, there's a gallery that includes exclusive art and a music player. Castlevania Dominus Collection launches on the Nintendo Switch system later today. Build something you believe in. Civ award-winning strategy series returns with Sid Meier's yep. Civilization 7. Rule as one of many legendary historical figures, including newly added leaders such as Queen Himiko. Friendship is her strength, and she can initiate diplomatic endeavors that help you research new technologies, expand your territory, establish your empire across the map, and conquer or cooperate with rival civilizations. You can even create your own path through history by choosing different civs with each new age. In the modern age, you can evolve your empire into Meiji Japan. I kind of want to try a civ game. Scientific strength and military force. I bought one when it was on sale, but I've never actually unlocked it. Can you create an empire that stands? Oh, like I've never opened it up. Turn the page on a revolutionary new chapter when Sid Meier's Civilization 7 launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 11th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. I'm going to do that once I get my phone situation figured out today. Celebrate Which could be a minute. Anniversary of the Tales of series with a remaster of the action RPG oh. Tales of Graces F. When the protagonist Asbel right. and Prince Richard meet Sophia's children, we will always be friends. The three soon become lifelong friends. Well, several years have since passed. 
With their strong friendship and desire to protect their loved ones, the now grown-up trio get entangled in a conflict that will determine the fate of the world. This remaster adds enhancements like destination icons and toggling enemy encounters, as well as downloadable content from the original game. Yo, some of the older games that have like open world, open world, open map, uh, enemies and stuff, dude, toggling enemies off is such a dub. Remastered launches on Nintendo Switch January 17th. It's one of, one of the reasons I don't go back and play, like, the really old Pokemon games is when you have to go through Rock Tunnel, for example, and you just get bombarded by Geodudes for 40 minutes. It makes me hate everything. What am I looking at right now? Is this Sims, but a less involved Sims? Maybe some people find Sims overwhelming. Oh, it's actually Sims. <laughs> Oh, that's actually Sims. Oh, that's crazy. I swear I did not pre-watch. Test your skills and your nerves in this first-person horror game. As the newest employee of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, you'll have plenty of job duties, Dude. such as helping performers prep for a show in the Pizzaplex salon. How many? How many games does FNAF have? Sounds easy enough, right? But you'll be doing all of this while avoiding animatronic atrocities along the way. Become a Fazbear Entertainment Superstar. That did not look graphically very good. Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2. Launching on Nintendo Switch. That did not holiday. graphically look very good. <laughs> and if you're looking for more adventures uh. in the Mega Pizza Plex, Help Cassie find her friend and escape the ruins in this free story DLC for Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Launching on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Let's check out some Nintendo Switch games launching in time for the holidays. Graphically, that does not look great. Comparatively to what I've seen it on other... I think most LEGO games are, are pretty well received, though. No intro, just straight into it, huh? That was so anime. Uh huh. Peaceful. Welcome to the Eastern Nation of mm. Azuma. After a calamity struck, the energy sources known as runes ceased to exist. And the ah, it's a Rune Factory game. Decline. In this fresh take on the Rune Factory series, step into a bigger adventure. A fresh take before. on the Rune Factory series. As an Earth dancer, you'll channel the spiritual powers of nature through dance. Use the sacred drum to help crops grow faster. Yo. And the sacred parasol to summon rain. These treasures and your Earth dancer abilities can revitalize the land. Restore this once fruitful region to cultivate fields, construct houses, and more to revive nature and establish prospering villages. Venture through the enchanting lands of Azuma, but beware. This is certainly thematically a little different from what I've seen from Rune Factory games. Which admittedly is not a lot. I'm not really a Rune Factory guy. As you settle into village life, get to know the community around you and deepen your relationships to find friendship or even romance. Who knows? A wedding could even be on the horizon. Experience a beloved series reimagined. 
in Rune Factory Guardians of Azuma, launching on Nintendo Switch next spring. So that might be one of the last Switch, Switch titles. Last announcement. Please take a look. One last announcement, okay. Immerse yourself in the story that started the epic saga in Yakuza Kiwami. Meet Kazuma Kiryu, a Yakuza accused of murdering his clan's patriarch, and Haruka, a young girl on the run, two individuals whose fates intertwine. Set in Kamurocho, Japan's largest entertainment district, Kiryu must navigate the twists and turns of Tokyo's underworld while confronting rival games. Those are big swords. Swap between four fighting styles in real-time combat. Fight bare knuckle, or arm yourself with makeshift weapons and go up against anything in your way. There are also plenty of distractions to be found in Kamurocho. So take a break from brawling every once in a while. Discover how the epic series began when Yakuza Kiwami launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. I've never played any Yakuza games, but I assume they're a little bit like Grand Theft Auto. Maybe that's wrong for me to say, but I'm not sure. That's just the vibe I got. It is an ignorant opinion, admittedly. Uh, okay. Honestly? I'm more excited for titles from the, the indie. Which is not something I frequently say. Um, but I mean, this, this was a partner direct, right? So it wasn't really going to be any, you know, main titles from Nintendo that we very we really already know about. Uh, there's the new Zelda game coming out this fall. Metroid Prime 4 uh, early next year. Or just next year. I don't know if they actually put a time frame on it. I just know it's 2025. Uh, yeah, the point is this was okay. It was alright. Uh, I am more excited for the indie titles that they released straight up though. Uh, versus the third party partner uh, titles that they kind of talked about here uh so overall pretty good but not great uh let me know if there's anything you were excited about in either of the uh showcases and uh i'm uh i'm gonna get out of here back to my phone woes so uh thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one